Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make a Valentine's wreath. I know Valentine's Day is just around the corner so I will be showing you on how to make this really simple wreath. There are just a couple of materials that you will need in order to make this Valentine's Day wreath. First of all, you will need a cardboard. Now for the cardboard, you can use any type of cardboard. Um, I found this one um, here and it's not really thick. Um, it all depends on how thick you want your Valentine's wreath to be. Um, you will also need some school glue, ribbon, scissors, a permanent marker, a stapler. You will also need some construction paper. Now today I will be showing you how to make um, these two colors. It will be in the color red and the color white. So my hearts are going to be in those two colors. And the other thing that you will need in, to make this wreath is a bowl. If you find a decent size bowl like this one here it's not too big you will need this outer part so I will show you how to do that in a minute and then I have this little bowl here which actually you'll be placing the bowl face down once you have the outer part of the circle on the on the cardboard so I will show you how I did that so the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to get my first um, bowl here, which is the, the biggest one. And with a permanent marker, you are going to trace around this bowl. You can also use a pen. So whichever one you want to use, that's fine. So I am just going to trace the bowl all the way around, all the way, until I form my circle. So here's the circle that I made for the first one. Then I get my other bowl and I place it kind of in the center, making sure it's pretty even on every corner from here and top and down. And then I would just trace all the way around the bowl, just like you did with the first one. So here is the second circle that I made. So once you have these two circles, you are going to cut all the way around the circle and then in the center, you're going to cut this center piece out as well. So when you cut that out, then you should have a circle like this. So this cardboard is a different texture it's a lot thicker so actually I got this from a computer box so it's a little thicker but you can use either or so the next thing before I start making my wreath I use some ribbon and since I have some extra ribbon here um, it's red so Valentine's Day use the color red so I decided to just cut a little piece off of this ribbon and then I attached it to the wreath so you can use uh, the glue gun to glue your ribbon here or you can use a stapler. So I stapled mine here in the back and I think the staple will actually hold it a lot better in case you want to hang it on the wall and it'll be nice and sturdy. So once I have that made, the next step would be to make the hearts. So I cut half sheet of paper here and I fold it in half. So then with, um, with me folding it again, I would get a multiple of hearts. So this is the fastest way to make a heart instead of tracing a heart over into a cardboard and then tracing it onto your paper. That takes way too long to make that. So I found this strategy a little bit easier. So what I did is I folded the paper twice and then with this crease here on my left, I used that to make the shape of the heart. 
So let me show you how I did that. So once you have this paper folded, you are going to start making the heart and then just go all the way here to the tip. So once you have the heart like this, the next step is going to be is to cut the shape of the heart out. And since you are going to make a lot of hearts, this is the best way to make the hearts instead of doing one by one. Okay, so here I have the hearts. So there's one heart here and then I made another heart. And they come out the same size. So it all depends on how big of your hearts are going to be. If your hearts are gonna be a lot smaller, then you have to make it a lot smaller. Like in my case, I made this heart a little bit smaller. Okay, so now the next thing is, I am going to get the hearts um, all in one area here, all my reds, and then I have all my whites on my right. And the reason is, is because I will be using red and white all the way around my wreath. So now I am going to start gluing my hearts and I will put some glue on the cardboard. You don't need a lot of glue. So just dab it here a little bit. And then you place the red heart right on top. The idea here is to overlap the hearts as you're going around in a circle. So now I already have my red heart and then I'm ready to put the white heart on top of the red heart. So just put it on top of the other heart, just like that. And then I go back to my red and then I put some more glue on to the white. And then I place the red heart right on top of the white one. And then I do the same thing again. You're doing this like in a pattern form red, white, red, white. You can use other colors as well. If you wanna use um, white and pink, you can do that too. Um, I mean, there's so many colors for Valentine's that you can use also. Okay, so then I put another dab of glue. And I place my white heart on top of the red one. And this is a great activity for all of you guys that have children. Um, you know, you can do this together as a family. Um, that way they do the hands-on activities and I'm sure kids love to do stuff like this for Valentine's Day. So this is a great idea for children as well. And then, you know, kids love to decorate the house for Valentine's Day or any kind of holiday. And this is a really fun activity for them. Okay, I am back. And now the Valentine's wreath is all completed. I put all the hearts glued onto the wreath and I decided I wanted to add a little more detail to my wreath. So 
I have these little cute little sparkly uh, sequins here that we can actually place on to the Valentine's wreath. So I'm going to glue these sequences onto the wreath just to give it a little um, sparkly texture here. And I'm just going to put one here right across from the other one. And then I think this will look really pretty. So you can be very creative in many ways. You can make it look plain or you can just add your own details to it. And these little sequins, you can find them at any arts and crafts stores like Michael's. Um, sometimes they have them at Walmart, but the best um, place to find these would be at Michael's because they have so many arts and crafts. Okay, so there it is. So there is the Valentine's wreath. And thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure to see all of you again. And just remember, my goal is to get 35 subscribers by March 1st. So if you are into crocheting and cooking, please make sure to click on that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.